food could be getting a little healthier for everyone in the Wabash Valley. Salt is the new enemy for some health experts. News 10's Dan Klein reports some big food companies are already buying in. Healthy eating for most means looking for foods with fewer calories and less fat and sugar at the grocery store. But a new target is on the radar. Sodium, better known as salt. Do you ever look at sodium when it comes to the amount of sodium that's in food? Not really. And Joe Bracken is not alone. When some labels come into focus, some numbers stick out. A serving of ketchup or just one tablespoon has 8% of the recommended daily amount. It's actually pretty mind boggling if you go down the grocery aisle and you look at the labels. So, how much salt does the average American eat in a day? Well, about 3,400 milligrams. That's about a teaspoon and a half of salt. That's twice what's recommended. If we cut the amount of sodium intake you have in your diet, then that decreases your chance of having hypertension or high blood pressure. And that can be trigger points for heart disease, strokes, and kidney failure. This week, the Institute of Medicine released a report urging the federal government to limit sodium in foods. 16 companies from Heinz to Kraft have agreed to do their part. Yeah, that's a great idea, and I, and I probably should watch my sodium intake. I just honestly don't. So beware of some foods that otherwise might seem healthy. For example, just a half can of this soup has 33 percent of your daily sodium. Also look out for spaghetti sauces, cheeses, and any sort of processed or frozen food because those can have far more sodium than anyone would add to their meal with a salt shaker. Look at the labels on the food and try to pick uh, healthy choices that have less sodium. Doing so could just save your life. Reporting in Terre Haute, Dan Klein, News 10. Good information. Meanwhile, Starbucks and Subway have also made a pledge to cut back on sodium levels. Get this, the Institute of Medicine estimates cutting back on salt could prevent more than 100,000 deaths, as well as save billions of dollars in health care costs.